It's coffee hour. John Quincy Adams himself would have said so. If he was still around to say so, he might consider it. Anyway, I came outside a little after two here. Um, just to get a little air and have a smoke. I wanted to check on the work that they're doing here. You know, this was a big uh, drug den down here. Look. I mean, people still sleep here. He left the sneakers. And I think it's shit right here. In fact, it's nappy time. I didn't even see him there, but there he is. Look. The sun's kind of sneaking through. I get a much better shot from this angle. But what I want to show you is the work they're doing. Look, they, they, this is where they all used to like crash. Eight or nine, ten of them. Right back here. See the graffiti? I mean, there's graffiti. They graffiti this whole wall. And they've cleaned it up. But I'm really excited about the curb here. As they're going to have a downstairs coffee shop cafe type thing. Maybe a sandwich or lunch joint next door. And they'll have outdoor tables over here where the light's hidden. But still, this is going to be their sidewalk. And this, see they got a couple of drains. This will be like part of the outdoor seating for the cafe. It'll wrap around. See? I put all the space there. Here's the big cheese now. The big macaroni. Look, they're doing a nice job on these uh, on the, the sidewalk here. I guess they're gonna have seating out here, huh? For like a coffee yeah. shop or something. Yeah, they got some. He's doing a hell of a job, I must say. But uh, no, it's been an experience because I watched this thing from day one, and I was pissed. <laughs> I said. I had only moved in a month or two earlier, right? And they broke ground, and one morning I'm woken up, and there are these fucking, you know, these million dollar, probably two million dollar excavators just digging up, and all these old bricks and shit are coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought that might have been worth some money, those old bricks, but they were they were powder. They were. Yeah, they weren't good stuff. Because they got, you know, you know, old cobblestones and shit like that. There were a couple in there. Yeah. Those are worth some money. Yep. But you're using nice granite here. Yeah. So what's going to be a cement on this side? Uh, granite pavers. Oh, granite pavers. Yeah, there'll be some concrete granite. Well, that'll look there. good. Yeah. They're, they're sparing no expense. I mean, look, they put the brick at the entrance. They're going to have, what, like an overhang and some lighting? Yeah, that'll be glass paint. Oh, that'll be nice. There'll be some glass all on that. And the roof is special, too. It's like a... There's a deck up top. Yep. Yeah. No jacuzzi though. No jacuzzi. But still, you can go and you can look out over the common. Yep, absolutely. I mean, if I lived here, you know, and was stuck with a place without a view, I'd spend half my time up there. Exactly. I'd bring the blender up and everything. Oh, they got an area where you can do the kitchen and all that, yeah. They got a grass grill up there. You know, that's got to be half the value. They got a sink. Uh, they got a sink. You, you can entertain up there. The bar. They got a bar. You, you can, can have a party up. with 20 people up there. Absolutely. And that's half the appeal. Yep. Rooftop partying in Boston. Absolutely. It's the hottest ticket in town. Yep. So I could get a $600,000 facing, you know, the other building, studio. Yep. And have access to that and throw parties and shit. Absolutely. Yep. You know, I qualify. Did you go and, you I, go and uh, look at the uh, sales center? You talk I did. Way? I went in there, and that day they had all these people with hot hats, came friends of the developer. Oh, okay. Taking the first look, see? Yeah. Because, you know, they get some kind of package deal. Yeah. And I said, look, I want two floors. you got to come in aggressive. Right, right. Now, look, I'll be Airbnb. Why yeah. the fuck wouldn't I? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm right here in the theater district. If I can't rent it out once a week, then I'm retarded. Yeah. And then I just drop my price until I do. Exactly. And maybe I find a college student from Russia whose dad doesn't give a fuck. I just keep stalking him. Right? Yeah. And wants to pay six grand, seven grand a month. Whatever I clear, I clear. Very true. Very true. And you can build a real estate empire like that. Fifteen years later, your mortgage is more than paid off. Absolutely. You got equity. Don't want to get over. You got a nice piece of equity. Oh, absolutely. Anyway, I'm going to try to do something. All right. Hey, good luck. Hey, I'm the neighbor. What do I got? What do I got to lose? I like this though. This is this is going to change the whole neighborhood. It really will. Even this they redid. I'm very impressed. Overall, very impressed.